Welcome to the Town of Acton, Maine, Selectman's Meeting for December 27th, 2016. First order, salute the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Approval of the agenda. I move we approve the agenda. I second. Moved and seconded to approve the agenda. Any discussion? Call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed? Approval of the minutes of the last meetings. Okay, we have December 13th, 2016. I move we approve the minutes from December 13th. I second. Moved and seconded to approve the minutes of December 13th, 2016. Any discussion? Call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed? And we have December 20th of 2016. I move we approve the uh, minutes from the December 20th meeting. I second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Call for a vote. I'm going to abstain because I was not here for that. So, Department Heads Committee Chair updates. Do we have any? Seeing none, we'll move on. Old business. Emergency closure policy. So two weeks ago, we talked about uh, the emergency closure, and I think the board decided that we would leave it the way it was. There was a couple that we just changed the office manager to town administrator. Um, I did make one other change um, with your approval. I'd like to submit it for signature. Um, it says in there, so the town administrator will make every attempt to notify the public an emergency closing via the town's website, local news, cable television. And it used to say, as well as updating the town's voicemail, and I clarified it to say, as well as updating the voicemail on the 401 phone extension. Because when you call in, that main greeting that gives you all those choices is not going to get changed. It's, you know what I mean? I can call in from home and change my actual greeting, but I'm not changing that main one. Yep. So, and I did get a call from someone who listened to the whole thing, didn't say anything about closing. So if you don't dial 401, you're not going to get that notice. Okay. Okay. So that's added in there if you're okay um, with it. Did you want to, I mean, we talked about doing a Facebook page for the town. We have one. Okay. Yep. So is that on there? No. You, you want to add it as far as one of the places? Yes. Okay. So if you give it back, I'll make the change and we'll sign it next week. Sounds good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll good. add that in. Okay. Yep. Uh, if we get, if we can get the weather clear enough, I wanted to put that on the other side of, instead of drive safe, because I, did you notice I put something up to get oh. us through the whole winter? <laughs> so I wanted to put like us on Facebook on the other one. Okay. So, knock on wood, so far we've gone three days with no comments, so. Good. We're doing good. Good. <laughs> Your page looks nice. Thank you. Okay, removal of the old sand salt building. <clears throat> Today I spoke to Sean Gerard, who is the president of CIA. He was uh, very happy to take the call, and he was just absolutely thrilled that he won the bid. Um, he's willing to work with the town on pretty much any level. I explained to him that we really didn't have the funding until next year after we asked for town's, town's approval. Um, he has so many different options. He is willing to take it down right now just the way it is for $2,000, which you could probably come up with take it down yeah. flatten it for Just, two thousand yeah and then in the spring with town approval he would remove it all but to get rid of the insurance liability he would mm -hmm. just flatten it now for two thousand dollars yes out of his whole bid just yeah but i mean you would sign a contract right. oh, yeah, with yeah. him saying that in the spring or right. after july one right um he did say that you know it wouldn't be a guarantee that he'd do it july one that tends to be a busy time but towards yeah. the fall he would he would you know yeah, make at, least, do. at least it would be down within the confines of the foundation yep. and um he's also willing to work out payment arrangements with the town i mean he was great he was just yeah. you know yeah he was um so i'm hoping that um maybe we can maybe next thursday we can have a conference call with him at four and um you can hear all of his different options or maybe i could just bring him in to meet with you and then we can meet with the treasurer and see how you guys mm -hmm. want to handle it okay but he yeah he was great yeah. he had lots of ideas for yep. you yeah okay so i was down there the other day yesterday actually and it is blocked off it is you good. can't get in the building i don't know if there's a walk through i don't think there's a walk through doorway I, i've never been the down big there. the big doorway anyway is blocked off with jersey barriers good so and that's what the guys had said other than so. climbing over them you okay. can't get into it so yep. okay so we'll schedule that for maybe next thursday sure okay next tuesday ah uh, tuesday is good yes thank you okay 
Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Bill. We'll go with Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Size exemption policy. Oh yeah, we started that. Yeah, we started that. Thank you. Um, so we had a we had a conversation last week about the veterans and the exemption. The way the board left it, um, as I understood it, was they wanted to find out how many active duty military we had in town and what that physical impact would look like. Um, I'm having a difficult time coming up with that information for you. I have been able to determine that there are 748 active duty members in the state of Maine. Um, but right now, for now, I haven't been able to find an agency that wants to break that down by town for me. So without that number and pulling registrations and determining what their, you know, what that, what their, what their excise would be, I don't know what the fiscal would be. Um, I did call several neighboring towns. Um, as I told you last week, I thought that Acton was the only one that even made Purple Heart and disabled vets exempt, and we are. I checked with uh, four or five neighboring towns, and they don't even do that. So they certainly don't make active military exempt. Um, I certainly will keep looking into it if you'd like, but I'm not sure which direction to head as far as who wants to tell me that information. Well, I'm, I guess I'm happy with the way it is. I'm happy with, with the current policy. Yeah, just yeah. leave it the way it is and, and let it go with that. So, okay. I mean, this was just something that came up with right. an no, individual it doesn't, that doesn't came in. To so, ask him. Yeah, and you never know unless you ask. So, yeah, I think we'll just leave the policy the way it is as long as the other board members feel that way. So, I do. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. New business 2014 impending foreclosure notice. So the uh, treasurer has sent out her 30-day impending foreclosure notices. So just wanted to kind of run through the process with the board with the lease um, being fairly new to it. I think this is our first tax cycle. So <clears throat> we are foreclosing on anybody that has outstanding 2014 taxes. So essentially the taxes came due, came and went in 14. We filed a lien on it. Once the lien goes on the property, it has to be on there for 18 months before the town can start the foreclosure. So we have sent... Um, 30-day foreclosure notices that demands the 14 payment um, by cash or money order before uh, the date is the end of January or the town will automatically foreclose on the property. Um, it's not something that you guys can stop. It just it automatically happens, the, the lien mature. So um, we have 18 currently that have outstanding 14 taxes. So hopefully um, those are able to get paid before the end of January. What will happen after that is if the town forecloses on the property, um, the board will have the right to do quick claim deeds to try to sell the property back to the owner if they wish. Generally, in that case, we request that they pay all three years' taxes plus the administration fees. So hopefully we don't get to that point, but that's where we're at. Okay. okay. Like I said before, this is before you, you went on, Lisa, this is probably the hardest part of our entire job up here is is going through the, the foreclosure of property so okay public comment anyone from the public have anything to say Ooh, looks pretty quiet out there thank you I did have one other thing I'm sorry go right ahead so although the road committee does not have a chair uh, dr. Williams was in today and spoke to me um, it appears that uh, there's a little bit of a weather coming on Thursday. He, oh, he yes. I don't know where he got this, but he told me 17 inches. Oh, so I don't know. If 12. The, if yeah. You were 12. Okay. Six, so. six to two feet. Six to two feet. Okay. We'll narrow it down. Um, so he asked me, um, you know, about the process of rescheduling the meeting. Um, I told him that certainly it's easier to do the day before than the day of. So we'll discuss it sometime tomorrow. And if it still looks like it's going to hit us, we'll just schedule for the following week. Sounds good. Announcements, Town Hall, Transfer Station, regular hours for New Year's. So the Transfer Station will be open. New Year's Eve, yes. New Year's Eve. So Town Hall and Transfer Station, no change in the hours this week. Okay. Um, snow, unless there's a snowstorm. Yep, yep. Thursday night. Okay. Thursday sure. night. Yeah. Okay. What time is it I, supposed to start? Does anybody know? I'm late in the day, I think, on Thursday. Mid-morning is what I heard. <laughs> My sister's usually right. <laughs> Sometime between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. <laughs> it's going to snow. News at 11. <laughs> okay, well, that was good. <laughs> um, yeah, I had heard. So, yeah. Oh. So, we'll go with, we'll go with Jim's. Personal or Easter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So, okay. Trust everyone had a good Christmas. And now we're on to the new year. 
holiday. Just wanted to tell everyone to uh, please be responsible with your partaking of adult adult beverages, beverages and whatnot. So um, call anyone for a ride. I'm sure you know you can get a ride from most anywhere. There's a record service. I think I don't know where they are in Sanford. Is it? Someone did tell me that. Yes. That will offer rides. Offer I think they'll take rides. your car and and you home. So nice. yeah. Wow. So. But uh, yeah, and I'm sure if you called, you called anybody for a ride, whether it's the police department or whoever. <laughs> oh, I bet they'd probably be more than happy to give you a ride versus or, or arrange a ride than, than give you the one in the back seat. So. Good night to stay home. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a very good night to stay home. So. Okay. Anything else from the board members, Bill? I I just want to wish please? my mom a happy birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday, mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. Well, we could sing. Should we sing to her? No. Does she watch this? No, I'll send it to her. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's in Florida right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's not going to get the memories. <laughs> okay. We don't have anything else on the agenda. This is our last one for 2016. So I guess with that, uh, we have a motion to adjourn. I move that we adjourn. I second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? All opposed? Good night, all, and have a wonderful. First year through 2016. See you next year. Yeah.